everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and The Sims 4 has just come out with a huge new free update for you to download if you own The Sims 4 base game. The biggest thing we're getting from this pack is new configurable stairs, meaning we can make all the L and U shaped stairs we want. But we will be looking at that in a second. First up, we've got some new create a sim and build and buy items. So I just wanted to show it to you guys as soon as possible because I'm quite excited for this content. Starting up, we've got some Muslim inspired clothing and architecture. I'm reading from the patch notes and it says to help even more of our players express themselves and create sims that are relevant to their everyday lives. We've introduced a set of Muslim inspired clothing and architecture. So I just want to ask everybody to be very respectful of all the cultures. I don't want any nasty comments. I will be deleting them immediately because I've seen other YouTubers get some nasty comments on their videos. So I'm not looking for those. I think it's really really awesome that The Sims added more diversity to the game. So let's take a look at some of the new items. We're using a mirror today which I'm really excited about because this is a sim I created for my high school click series. She is a Muslim and she had to wear a CC hijab and now we've got them in the game. So I have changed her up and this is one of the new hijabs we're getting. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. English is not my first language but this is what it looks like. It's actually really 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 good. I can show you guys the CC one that I downloaded to use. It looks like this. This is what I was using. It's very alpha. Like this is such a huge improvement. I think this looks really, really good. So we've got a bunch of different swatches and some patterns in here. Lots of variety to choose from. We have another one as well, but I'll show you guys that in a second. Because first up, I want to show you guys this full body outfit, which I think is really, really pretty, really well done. So we've got a denim jacket, a t-shirt, I'm assuming, and a long skirt. So this is super pretty and lots of different swatches again to choose from. I love the flowers uh, on the top as well. I just, I really like this. We've also got another full body outfit, which is this belted dress, which looks like this, another long skirt, obviously. And this one comes in some solids and a couple of these floral patterns and these stripy ones. Again, I think it looks really nice. It's really well done. Also, I realized I did not <laughs> say anything about my items being green. I don't know what happened. I'm guessing it's a CC piece or a mod that's messing me up, but I updated my game and this is what it looks like. So just ignore that. Then we've got this modest athletic wear slash swimsuit, which looks like this. Again, it looks really well done. There is a couple of different swatches in here. It looks pretty modern. I like that. And then this is the other hijab that comes with this new update. It matches this uh, outfit perfectly. Like as you can see, it looks really, really good with it. We also got two new items that are Muslim inspired for men. First up is this I don't know how to pronounce this word, but I think it's a kufi, something like that. It's this brimless round cap, which looks like this, and it comes in a few uh, different swatches, I guess, if you want to match to your outfit or your sims personality or whatever. That is not the correct top that I want to show you guys. This is the one that I want to show you guys. So we've got a new buttoned shirt for men, which I really like. It's a bit sheer. At least it looks sheer in the black. Is it just me? Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm <laughs> making that up. But yeah, it's a really, really nice new shirt. We got a new dress for kids as well. So let me just make her a kid real quick. I'm assuming it's this one. I always find it so hard to see the new items added because they don't have the new icon, but they said they added a new girl's pleated dress and it looks to be this one. How do you say pleated? I don't know, but here are the different swatches. It's pretty cute. I like it. And boys got a button shirt. Is it this one? I do not look at base game items that often, but I'm gonna guess it's this one. This one looks new and it looks really nice. By the way, we're just using one of the base sims that comes up when you open your game for <laughs> this guy. The sim is not made by me. For the sim's fifth anniversary, we also got some other new creative sim items. So we've got a new polo rugby top for boys. Looks to be this one right here. That's actually not bad. It's pretty cute. Oh yeah, I like this drive. Okay, okay. 
And girls didn't get a dress or a top for the fifth anniversary, but apparently they've got new leggings. Oh my goodness, okay. So new knee length leggings. These are the shortest leggings we've had in game. Oh my God, of course. And we have the Galaxy Cat version in there. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is good for different outfits for summer. Okay, I like it. It did say in the patch notes that these are meant for end of summer festivities. It says invite some friends and family over, fire up the grill and enjoy a backyard get together with this new content. It includes a bunch of new build and buy content as well. So we'll look at that next, but we also got a new women's summer party full body outfit, which I think is the right i don't know i feel like it's this and i don't like this thing i don't know i just maybe it's my sim it doesn't do her it's just not really my thing but here are the different swatches i mean it is very different to anything we've got so i have nothing against it i just don't see myself using this and for men it was this blazer that i already kind of showed you guys looks like this at least i think this is the new item again I, I might be messing things up, but I think this is it. It says men's long blazer. Is this long? I mean, I don't know how much longer it could be. And this looks kind of summery in the swatches. So I, I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cute. So that is it for the new Creative Sim items. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. And again, remember to be respectful of all cultures and religions. But next up, let's look at the new build and buy items. All right, we are in the build and buy mode and we're in Strangerville. Don't ask me why I chose to do this in Strangerville. I just feel like it's so pretty here. The first thing I wanna look at are the new stairs and then we'll look at the Muslim inspired architecture and then we will look at the Sims 5th anniversary stuff. So I'm so excited. I actually was not watching the stream when they showed this off. I think I wasn't even home and I was shook when I have seen pictures on Twitter, did not expect it at all. Let's actually go inside this little house that I have built for us today. Let me just break a wall or two so we can actually see what the heck is going on. So we've got a new little button or arrow here, whatever. So if I drag, <gasps> okay. That's actually freaking awesome. So if I move this, we can now have like a corner stair. So it's actually created like a little mid-level here to go upstairs, upstairs, which is freaking awesome. This will be so good for different floor plans and different floor layouts. And then what else can I do with this? If I drag, oh my, oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. This is, this is new to me. So this, okay, I thought I did it. This is a, this is a U-shaped stair. Are you joking? This is so cool. Okay, so now we've got a little landing here, another one here, and four little steps to get upstairs. Oh my God, how how awesome is that? Okay, let's pick another one and do it outside. So these are, by the way, from Island Living, these stairs, if you are wondering. So if I wanted to go up here, maybe let's uh, remove this wall. So we can put stairs, let me just turn this around. Normally, like so. My walls, by the way, are mid-high, so that's why there's so many stairs. And then now, oh my god, this is so cool. Look, this is a freaking like proper U-shaped stairs. Okay, what happens with this? Oh, really? Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> what is this? You have a lot of options here, okay. Can, can we feel like Hogwarts or something? That's all I can think of. <laughs> the stairs in Hogwarts and then you can change which way this is going. This is actually not that hard to get used to. Like the controls are not that hard. I've just never used them before. What does this do? Okay, this changes the whole thing around. You can do so many things with this. This is, oh, this is awesome. Let me do one more. I wanted to see it. Okay, so you can do an L-shaped one or a U-shaped one. This will, oh my God, there's a lot you can do, which I think is really, really awesome. I'm so glad they added this. I did not expect them to add this. I know people have been asking for this, but I just always assumed it would be way too hard to actually implement into the game, but the Sims team has done it. So thank you so much. This is amazing. 
All right, so that's enough with the stairs. Let's look at the Muslim-inspired architecture, starting off with three new windows. First up is this little guy. Okay, that's actually super, super pretty. Then we've got the same one, but that's more of a rectangle shape. And then we have got, okay, so a little bit of a bigger one, bigger version of the first window. I love these, they look super, super pretty. <gasps> Wait, when did they change the swatches to look like this? That looks so cool, you can see the actual design in the swatch here. Here are the different ones that come for these windows. I'm quite impressed. We've also got two new doors. First up is this little guy. I can see totally matching with the windows and this style of architecture. That looks really pretty and it has a little glass window up top. Oh, and some more colorful swatches with the green and the blue. We also have a double door in the same style. This one again has a round top and similar swatches, really, really pretty. We also have two new arches. What the heck, we're getting so much stuff. So this is the first one and this is the second one. Oh, love this, oh my goodness, the builds you can do with these. And this is a single white arch with a little window up top. We don't have anything like that, that is so cool. They come in the same swatches and apparently even the arches have patterns, that's cool. And then we have a new tiled wallpaper, what the heck, that's so cool. So this is, oh my God, that's actually so pretty. This is what it looks like. Here I put the different swatches around. So it has quite a few different swatches, different things you can do. I think it's so pretty. So that is all the new Muslim inspired architecture. We've also got new items for The Sims for our fifth anniversary. Happy birthday to The Sims, by the way, but apparently we've got a new stair. Oh, is it this one? Oh, this one's so pretty. Why wasn't I doing the examples with this? Don't ask me. Oh, gorgeous. Here are all the different swatches. It's actually quite modern. I like it a lot. It looks so good. Okay, I really, really like this. We also got a new stair railing. I believe it is this one. So let's see. Okay, not really the style I usually go for, but definitely not bad. I actually find it really funny. They've named these items, like legit what the item is. This is called stair railing and all these other ones have like crazy names and the same with the stairs. They're called stairs, like what the heck? This also comes with a matching fence called fence, which I guess is this one. Let's see. I feel like I saw something about light up fences online. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, nighttime. It has tiny little lights right there. That's actually pretty cool. Here's a couple more swatches of the same fence. You've got the white and the black. And actually, I'm really digging this light up function of it. That's really awesome. They also added two new foundations, so let's take a look. We've got some stilts, actually. So we got two right when Island Living came out. I did not know they were base game. I thought they were Island Living only, but now we've got this stilt foundation, which looks like this, a little bit more industrial almost. Here's the white version. Definitely does not suit my house right here. Looks super weird, but that's new. And then also this canvas one, which looks like this. This one's actually quite nice. Let's see the white one. Yeah, I approve of this one. This one's a nice addition to our foundations. Oh my goodness, if you have Island Living, they finally added the kitchen counter when we only got the this thing before. So now we've got like the island part. So this is the wicker counter and this is the wicker counter island. Finally, oh my goodness. So yeah, this is only if you have Island Living, but that's so awesome. I just did a build where I really wanted to use this. So now we've got it. But back to the fifth anniversary items, we've got a new outdoor ground light that looks like so. It's quite chunky. We haven't got anything like this. Like we've only got this so far and this is tiny, tiny, tiny. So now we've got this. Okay, interesting. Let's see it in nighttime. Doesn't even seem to be creating that much light. I don't know. Oh, a new plant, are you kidding? Oh, here it is, plant potted floor. Okay, I was hoping for indoor plants because I use them way much. This I wouldn't really put inside, but it's really cool. So this is the plant potted floor. Interesting, interesting name for it. And a bunch of different swatches. It is really pretty. I like the modern design. 
seems we're getting a bunch of new outdoor furniture like patio furniture so next up we've got the outdoor seat <gasps> it has a little of flamingos okay all the swatches are no 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 okay there's some like grilled cheese sandwiches okay and then we've got the white and like the white and black here's the black and then oh, plum bobs interesting that one's actually kind of cute but i just i don't like to use plum bobs in my sims game it just feels weird and we got a matching lounger that's awesome because the base game only had one so far that came with the solani update with island living so now we've got a matching one that's really awesome and this one again i'm liking the modern design we also got a new outdoor dining table. Oh, is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay, so we've got a little tablecloth with the same patterns, I'm assuming, with the little uh, flamingos, the plum bobs, and no grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, I guess not, but more options to choose from. And also an outdoor end table that looks like so. Okay, that's a pretty cool glass pattern on the top. This one only comes in a couple of different swatches, but a nice addition. Okay, I had to uh, search for this one, but we've got a new pedestal called Upside Down Gnome Decor, and it looks like this. Is it kind of dark in here? Oh, there we go, perfect. So it's a new like gnome statue, but I'm guessing you can put items there. Let's try, yep, you can put things there. <laughs> that's actually kind of adorable. So that is it, that is all the new items that came from today's patch update. Again, to get it for free, all you need to do is update your Sims 4 base game through the Origin client. It came out today for PC, I don't know when it's coming out for console, hopefully soon. Let me know what you thought about the new items down below in the comments, and if you're excited for the new configurable stairs because I just Oh my goodness, let me know what I should build with these because we have just opened up so many new possibilities for building in The Sims 4. Anyways, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new here. And I will see you guys in my next video. And next week on the 9th, we're allowed to post our early access content for The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. And I'm so excited. So I will see you guys then. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon and bye. This